Hello YouTube family! It's a beautiful day. Actually, I was gonna do the video outside so you could enjoy this beautiful day with me, but there's a little equation of mine that you need to know. Sunshine plus flowers equals bees. Therefore, bees plus sherry equals ninja sherry. And if you don't want to see ninja sherry, like sprinting like Usain Bolt, right across the camera, we're gonna bring it inside, okay? Me and bees, we just... We don't mix. We don't mix. And if you ever want to see me go ballistic, bring a beer around me. I will do some crazy gymnastics. I will go for gold. Okay? So, today is Wear My Passions Day. So, I'm wearing all the things that I'm very passionate about. First thing I have on, well, I couldn't wear them all. There's just not enough space on me for all of that. First thing, though, is my Turbo Kick Instructor Jacket. I wear this with pride. This is the first um, fitness thing that I was ever certified in. It's my favorite format and I love it, so I wear that with pride. Then my belly dancer shirt, because that is my passion, that is my joy. There is such joy in belly dance. If you've never done it, I highly suggest, no matter what your size, shape, that's not what belly dance is about. It's a killer workout, number one. And it does so much for the inner person, you're really gonna love it. The other thing I just added on to my, uh, a little notch on my belt, was last week I got license to do Zumba! Boom, boom, ba -ba -dum, ba -ba -da -dum, doom, doom. If you're a Zumba person, you kind of know that song. I'm not going to sing it anymore, though, okay? I'm going to save the vocals. So, I'm, sir I'm licensed to teach Zumba my first class this Sunday, and I can't wait. This is a great way for me to mix the two things I love, fitness, and dance, 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 and put them together. And have fun with it. So, I'm feeling really positive today, and I picked that this would be a good time to talk to you guys about negativity. Go figure! Hey, it happens. So I'm talking about this as far as changes in your life, and I'm going to focus on it from a weight loss point of view and a fitness point of view, but this really comes to you no matter what big change comes in your life. Um, it, there's a train that is going to hit you when you make a change in your life. I'm going to warn you about this train, okay? When you're driving and a train is coming, the lights flash off and the little thingies come down. That doesn't happen in real life emotionally, so I'm going to prep you for it. So know that's going to happen and just be ready for it. So let's say you decide, you know, I'm gonna go back to school or you're gonna change careers or maybe it's something like you're getting married and you tell your family and friends and the first thing is just they're completely excited for you. They're just hugs and kisses and this is great, I'm gonna support you, you're gonna be so happy, I'm so glad for this change in your life and you're like, yes, they support me. This is gonna be my support group, I'm so happy. My family's got my back 100%. And then it gets a little closer to the date when things are supposed to happen. Like if you're planning a wedding, things get stressful and your family just can't wait for you to get married and get out the house. Or you're going back to school and everyone's like, okay, tuition's a little bit expensive. Like reality starts to hit in. Or let's say we're going to talk about it more with weight loss. So the time is coming where you're going to start your journey and you've decided the days that you'll be going to the gym, what you are going to eat, what you're going to cut back on eating. So you know how you do the whole kitchen makeover. You know when you throw out all the bad stuff and you go grocery shopping and you fill the house with all the stuff that you should eat. And some of it ends up in the back of your fridge and it spoils because you decide you're not going to try it anyway. Don't do that. Try it. End scene. So, you clean out the cupboards and your family's all happy and then they're like, wait, hold on. Did, did she just throw out my Oreos? Like, she could throw out her stuff, but who said she could throw out mine? That's mine. Chugga, 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 chugga. That's the dance you gotta do the shoulders with it, too. That's that train starting to come. And let's say you're the cook in the house and your family's used to you cooking a certain way. But now you're changing your life, so you have to change the way you cook. So they come for dinner all excited and they sit at the table. They're like, what is this rice that doesn't look white? Why does it, it, it's brown? They make that? They want me to eat that? This might be a problem. <laughs> Where's the pork chops? I don't understand. We're gonna go hungry. Chugga, 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 chugga. Or they're like, you know, mom or whoever you are in your family. Uh, you know, it's 9 o'clock. Our show is coming on. It's time for Wipeout. That's my favorite show. I like silliness. Wipeout's on. Oh, okay, but maybe we could DVR it because I really got to get my workout in. But we always watch Wipeout together. Yeah, but I really got to get to the gym or, you know, I'm really got to go downstairs and do my P90X real quick. Hmm. Chugga, 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 chugga. And the people who were once so gung-ho about it are now all of a sudden, boom, they have hit you and that is your negativity train. The worst part about this is that the negativity comes from the people that you would hope 
or be the ones to be supporting you 100%. But it's not their fault. They don't even realize that they're doing it, and this is why. When you make a change in your life, a big change, it affects you, yes, but it is going to affect those directly around you. You may have had a circle of friends that you guys went out hanging out and eating and drinking whatever together. You've made a change. You're not going to want to do those kinds of things anymore. They're not going to like that all too much. They're going to like that you're bettering yourself, but that doesn't mean that they want to change what they're doing. Your family might be happy that you're trying to get better and get healthier, but that doesn't mean that they were ready to make that kind of a life change. So you can't fully knock them for that. You just have to understand how they are feeling, and you need to stick to your guns. Easier said than done, especially because we're so close to our families. We want them to be happy, and we want them to be happy with us. We want to keep the peace. Like, I know when I first started working out and I was doing my turbo fire, my mom happened to come downstairs while I was in the middle of a hit. And if you don't know anything about turbo fire, and you don't know what a hit is, a hit is a high interval, high intensity interval training. So for about 90 seconds, about a minute to 90 seconds, you are working up here. And I mean like tuck jumps and hitting the ground, doing burpees and back into doing needless, all sorts of craziness. And she happened to come down at this most intense part of the workout. And she watched me and when it was done, I probably looked like death. I'm pretty sure I died a little bit. And she's like, you shouldn't be doing this. You're not healthy enough to do this. Look at people in that video. You don't look like them. You can't keep up with them. You're going to kill yourself. And then who's going to help with taking care? You have a daughter to raise and she needs a mommy and all sorts of this craziness. And I'm like, mom, I'm working at my level. I have to push myself. I'm fine. And she was just very worried. And then she would see me come in with all my groceries. She'd be like, I bought groceries. Are my groceries not good enough for you? Well, I'm trying to cook. You better wait. And I'd have to wait until she finished cooking. And then I'd have to cook my food and negativity they don't mean it they don't mean harm by it it's just that your changes are changing their flow and people don't like change if people like change we wouldn't have issues trying to stick to better health routines and nutrition changes and, and exercise regimens and things like that but people don't like change we burger king had changed their french fries i know that's a horrible analogy when i'm talking about health and fitness but people didn't like it everyone gets accustomed to things but now people don't even realize that they were changed anymore see what i'm saying it takes time, but they come around. Now, if I go to many days without working out, my mother is over my shoulder like, why aren't you doing your workout? Like, you've come so far. Why are you not downstairs jumping all over the place like a mad woman? So it takes time for you to get into your routine. It takes time for them to get accustomed to the new you. But the good news is they do. So don't let the discouragement get to you. People might start saying stuff like, why are you working out so much? You can, you don't have to work out today. Why don't you skip a couple days? Why can't you just come out with us to eat? And we'll find something low calorie on the, on the menu for you. Or we like you the way you are. You're losing too much weight. You're not going to be thick anymore. All sorts of craziness you're going to hear. Just. Whew. So here's the tip of my biggest tip of how to get past it. You need to surround yourself with like-minded people. Find people starting out in this journey with you. If you're going back to school, Link up with people in your classes because they're going through the same things as you. Fitness, find a support group. There are plenty of support groups. I run a support group. And you are going to be able to be able to vent to people who are going to be right there to be like, you know what? Let it roll off your back. Get back out there. Get back on track. You'll see that they're doing it. It makes you want to do it. And it's just this cycle of happiness. There are so many cycles of negativity in this world. It's about time that you reverse that and keep things positive. And that starts with you. So it's going to be hard, but block it out. That train is going to hit you. You can't avoid it. You are pretty much just tied on the train tracks, just waiting. It's going to come. You cannot avoid it. But knowing that it's coming is going to help you be prepared for the battle. So get some support. Get a support group, workout buddies, workout groups, online, forums, whatever it has to do to keep you on track. And I promise you, give it time and they will get used to the new you. And they're going to like it more than the old you. Didn't think that was possible, was it? I didn't think people would like me more than they do already, but you know, they do. Yeah. Okay, so with that being said, I'm out of here. And I'm going to go back outside away from the bees because in here is hot without the AC on. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.